Hi everyone, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Today's video, I will be talking to you about shaving. So we'll have some fun watching me shave. I know a little awkward making a video on this, um, but let's try and see how it goes. shaving you want to do properly? It's a very common question males have uh, in my clinic asking, hey doc, why do I keep getting razor burn, razor bumps? The medical term for it is pseudofolliculitis barbae, and it's a very common issue that we see from males, especially for uh, males in the military, law enforcement who have to do a close shave on a daily basis. on just proper shaving techniques and just building a good foundation and good habits so that you don't run into trouble. Okay, good morning YouTube. So we're gonna start shaving. I have a Gillette Fusion. This is a ProGlide Fusion uh, shaver that I like to use. It has this nice ball that will rotate with uh, different contours of the face. So I like this a lot. It also comes with quite a bit of re uh, replacements uh, heads that you can find at Costco in the bulk. All right, so I'm just gonna go get that in there. Locked and loaded, ready to go. So what you wanna do first is cleanse. So for cleanser, what I like to do is use a salicylic acid cleanser before shaving, just to clean out the pores, the hair shafts. You wanna remove all the debris, impurities, bacteria with your salicylic acid wash, all right? So Neutrogena makes a really nice salicylic acid wash. Now while your hands are wet, your face is wet, have a towel here ready just so you don't make a mess and your wife doesn't get upset with the big puddle you just made in front of the sink. So you have uh, your shaving gel next. My favorite shaving gel is Aveeno. So this is a really nice gentle uh, shaving gel that I like to use. Thank you so much Aveeno for making this because a lot of the other scented ones are very irritating. I, get, I would get a red itchy rash and uh, inflamed rash after shaving a lot of times where this is just so gentle. I'm able to put it on um, really nicely. It's not a true foam, it's a shaving gel and uh, I have no irritation. So just gonna slather it onto my wet face here. Never thought I'd be doing this for the world, but this is good. Educational purposes. All right, we're all lathered up there. Rinse it off my hands. Looking good. All right. Got the trusty towel. I know it's mine, has a D. All right, so we're set to go. So you want to get your blade, your fresh blade. You want to change out your blade every three weeks is what I usually do. I only have to shave every three days because of my genetics. So uh, I don't have to change it out very often, but if it are, does start to dull, you want to change it out. When it starts to dull, because of course it's going to cause more trauma to your skin, but also it's going to collect a lot of bacteria over time. And you don't want that obviously because it's going to introduce bacteria into your pores, your hair follicles, and then you'll get this pseudo folliculitis or full on bacterial folliculitis of your face and neck. All right. So we have our blade here, just a little, little rinse there with the warm water. And then what you want to do are, is do gentle pressure, even strokes on your face with the grain. Okay. Here we go. How's that look? Time to make some funny faces at ya. Just rinsed off the shaving gel off the face. Right? Got that fresh shaven look there. So next, we'll wash your face with a cleanser. So what I like to do is La Roche-Posay's uh, foaming cleanser. It's the purifying foaming cleanser. It has uh, ceramides, which we love because it helps repair the skin barrier after doing a shave. But it also has this nice ingredient called niacinamide. Niacinamide is a 
vitamin supplement we tell patients with a high risk of skin cancer to take as a pill twice a day to help with decreasing the risk of skin cancer development. But in your creams and lo um, lotions or uh, cleansers, it does have a nice effect on the skin by being anti-inflammatory. It can help treat acne or prevent acne breakouts. So I like this in my cleanser after doing a shave, all right? So just gonna, um, now my, my hands are still moist, my face is still moist, I'm gonna go lather up. Try not to talk to get all this bubbles in my mouth. <laughs> all right, coming up for air again. Pat dry. Don't overly uh, dry. Don't over exfoliate after shaving your face because you don't want to further traumatize your skin. So just do that gentle cleanser. Don't do anything more than that. Just pat dry with a nice clean towel. So next, while your skin is still moist, you want to trap and retain all that moisture you picked up from just washing your face. So next, I'm going to use Elta MD's uh, Barrier Renewal Complex. And this is nice because it has niacinamide in it as well. And so I'm just going to get this on right away, right over my face while it's still moist. And then rub that in. We ready for the day. Ready for clinic. SPF on right afterward. The other thing I wanted to mention is that when you are washing your face to begin with, you want to have warm water. You want to wash with warm water because you want to prepare the hair shafts for the blades to come down on it. So you want it to uh, not give any resistance, some tug with the blades uh, shaving. So I use a five blade system like I mentioned and that's really nice because each sequential blade will help direct the hair shafts for the next blade to cut it down and get that nice clean uh, close shave that we want without any further trauma. As you can see I didn't cut my face at all with that and it was really nice with conforming to my jawline around the chin uh, because of that uh, ball system that allows it to shift very nicely. Okay, I got my zinc titanium based sunscreen on and we are set to go, all right? So I hope this video was helpful. Shave responsibly, try to prevent as much as possible razor burn or we call pseudo folliculitis barbe. All right, and tune into the next video. Please like this video, hit the like button. Please share with your friends and also please subscribe to my channel. Be well.